So this is Sherwood Waterfall. Not very much spectacular. And it's raining probably a lot better. So this one is Vanian Rhyolite to the acidic Ignan Bright. So it's about 360 million years ago, something like that anyway. But so this is a fault. It's been exploited by the water. The sides of the actual cavern are actually quite steep, so this is very hard to actually weather. Uh, this is all artificial, but I can't really tell what type of rock it is. Looks dark in nature, so I reckon it's probably the Pacific day site, uh, Ignan Bright, but I'll go and see an exposure up there. It could be Rhyolite. So this is part of the igneous complex that formed in the Devonian. Uh, now there's lots of granite intrusions that are around the actual state. They all formed pretty much the same time. And this is part of the stretching that happened when uh, the land to the south was actually being attached to uh, Victoria. So that actually pulled this apart actually they're stretching it so making it longer making the lithosphere thinner so the lava could actually get through and that's what we're seeing here so obviously this is an extrusive igneous rock ignean bright rhyolite dacite is extrusive so it come out of the actual volcano and the volcano is actually gone but this would depend on the fineness of the actual grain. So if it's very fine grain, it's more than likely to be somewhere a bit far away from the actual uh, caldera. If it's coarse grain, then it'll probably be a lot closer. So uh, we'll go and have a look at the super fine and exposure. So here we have uh, some on the sides, fairly weathered, but it's light coloured, so it looks like uh, rhyolite. And obviously the, the forest is subtropical, temperate rainforest, uh, because we have a lot of tree ferns and just the density of the actual flora is uh, quite compact, not like a, an open woodland, somewhere drier. Now there are a lot of eucalypts, I'm not too sure on the actual species. And these tree ferns are a lot thinner than they are in Tasmania, which are actually at least twice as thick. So we have some cuttings for the path. It's a nice well made path. But oh, this so rhyolite should be have a lot of uh, quartz or feldspars. So it's pretty felt sick. Uh, this one looks pretty weathered so it's also really hard to tell but I would say this is probably a, a dacitic ignin bright now can I take any rock home I don't see any small rocks that I could or maybe so I'd need to take that and break it see what the actual rock it is So this is the only exposure that I've actually seen. And, uh, yeah, I can't tell. So, at the moment, I'm just going to say it's the Ignin Bright. So that would be, if it is the Ignin Bright, then it would be just hot ash that's come down from, fallen down from the sky, and also slid down the actual mountain. Uh, but it's, it's too weathered to actually tell. As you can see it's just a massive, quite a thick uh, type of cutting. So that's fairly fresh. And the older exposures here are covered in plant matter and extremely uh, weathered. So you can't really, you're not going to get any information out of that. And there's a lot of soil. So the soil forms into this uh, 
reddish brownish type of soil and if I walk down yeah that's also been altered chlorite no I'm not gonna um, nah. because it's a subtropical rainforest it gets a lot of rain uh, there's a lot of plant matter so uh, exposures are not really gonna tell you much yeah. anyway The only place you're really going to get fresh stuff is the river. When it actually floods, for at least a day or two, uh, it's not flooding now. Okay, another place you could actually look is uh, where the tree has actually uh, fallen over. And some places you can actually see the rocks. So this seems to be quite fresh. And this looks like the city so it has a uh, quartz crystals has a, a lot of feldspar oh, I can see a mica crystal uh, and the rest is probably a uh, just amphibole I'm not too familiar with the actual chemistry so based on this this is not a rhyolite it's too dark to be a rhyolite so so it's a dacitic ignimbrite they're the two rocks that they have described here but they have not separated the actual two formations on geological maps. So that is, and here we have another one. So it's pretty fresh. So that basically sums up what the geology here. It's a dacitic igneous bright, which, uh, if you're interested in uh, volcanic rocks. So this is in the Devonian times, obviously day site, Ignean Bright, it was probably covered by the glaciation in the Permian, in the Carboniferous, I don't know uh, what happened during that time period, but, and that was before the dinosaurs, uh, during the Devonian. Life was really only starting to come onto land it's before the Pherapsids actually crawled out. Uh, most likely, the animals that you'd find in that rock, uh, you won't be because it's hot ash. You could find tree molds, but tree matter was only just starting to uh, go on the land at the time. Actually, they started in the Silurian. But they were actually quite small. And that might have been uh, just desert area. I need to do some research on the flora of the Devonian in Australia. That'll be quite interesting actually. Anyway, just a quick video. I'm gonna run out of space. So thank you and goodbye. Gee, I look like a feral.